everyone welcome back to web genie this is the first video we are going to create in this year here we will create an angular quiz application so i have opened my terminal and i have typed the command ng new uh, quiz app it is not a standalone application so once we do this uh, it takes a while to load all load or create all the files i have uh, added css as the uh, styling now the uh, angular application has been created and you can see a source file and there is a app folder in this and there are the index main.cs uh, ts uh, style cs all these are the uh, files which are created now i am going to create a service file question so inside the app two files will be created and now i am going to create my components one is a quiz component and another is a results component next uh, we will remove everything from this app component html file and add only this router outlet save this now here i am not using any external api to load my questions i am use i am reading it from a json file so i am creating an assets folder and here i am going to create a, a json with question so uh, in this json first uh, will be the question next will be the options and uh, last part will be the answer so this is how the json is structured and total i am going to write about uh, 15 questions now we have to add this and uh, this assets folder inside our angular json so uh, inside the assets i am uh, adding the two files i am adding the source assets folder now let us uh, start uh, reading the from the json file so this i am doing inside my question service so for inside the constructor i am passing in the http client here uh, we will read we will uh, create a new method called get questions and it will return so what it does is it will read from this question.json so this is what we have in the uh, question uh, service file now in the app module i am going to uh, import http client module now let's try to modify our quiz component so here uh, the quiz component implements on init and on destroy and we have to implement these methods so ng on it and ng on destroy are the two methods questions is a array and current question is a number uh, it is assigned in or initialized to zero and the selected option is a string of type string score is of type number it is an initialized to zero and show results is of type boolean it and it is assigned false and we have 
a timer so we will create a timer here and uh, it's a 15 seconds and there is an interval for the timer and we will uh, create a constructor Uh, it will uh, it will uh, take the uh, question service and router as the parameters. Now in ng on in it, we will uh, read from the question service uh, get question method, and here I am calling the subscribe method. Now let's write the HTML part. First, we will finish off with the uh, TypeScript file itself. So, there are some methods like start timer and clear timer. So, if uh, there, there is nothing, then clear the interval and selected option. So selected option is already taken as a variable. So now uh, we will change it to select option method name. So as soon as these questions are loaded, the start timer method is also uh, invoked and the timer uh, is assigned to 15 seconds for each question and we will call the uh, set interval method and assign it to the interval so once the timer um, uh, is stopped or if the 15 seconds are over it will automatically go to the next question there will be no points for the careers current one so here we are not going to uh, display any error message like uh, timeout or something we will just directly go to the next question now we will write the uh, next question method so if the select option so whatever we are returning from the select option is uh, the correct answer so if it is the current question index dot answer uh, if the selected option and the answer is correct then the score will increase and the select option will be uh, reset it the current question index will be uh, added I mean increment it if the current question index is greater than the questions uh, length or if it if it has reached the end of the questions the timer will be cleared and uh, it will go to the results uh, route or the results page and uh, what, uh, what, what are we taking to the results page? We are taking the score and the total questions, questions length or, or the number of questions uh, that we are taking to the results page. So we are done with the TypeScript uh, changes. Now let's uh, add the HTML part. So here uh, I have added a class called Quiz Container, and there is a heading of a type H1 Quiz App.
now we will create a card so we are not using any angular material here we are just writing this with the pure css now we will create a uh, h4 or heading uh, like question number of so it will li write like question 5 of 15 so you will know you are at which question now there is a paragraph and here the timer will be uh, displayed so the time left uh, this much seconds that will be displayed here and this uh, timer we will uh, write with red write in red color and then uh, we will write the question so that is of type um, h2 so <coughs> questions will be there then in the we, we will create an unordered list and in the list there will be the options there will be four options which we are reading from the JSON file. So we have this questions array, and uh, here in the we are using an ng4 and getting uh, and we are iterating to the options for the current question. And uh, if the so these will be radio buttons and uh, if the option is selected then the select option um, method will be triggered so if the um, select option is not disabled then only the next question will be triggered so if you uh, have clicked anything in the current question or if you have selected something only then the next question will be triggered and if it has not reached the last uh, if it has reached the last question the button will be uh, labeled as finish otherwise it will be labeled as next so that you can uh, go to the next question and we will uh, have one more division which prints the result and the score So we will uh, show the results in the results container and it will show like you scored this much score out of this questions. Now let's go to the app routing module and we will uh, write the routing code. So there is this uh, routes array here and we will specify the path. So uh, the first uh, default path is the uh, quiz component and there is also a results results component so when you click on uh, so it will be redirected to the results page
if you have liked watching my video please support the channel and uh, subscribe to my channel click on the bell notification icon so that you will receive all of my future videos if you like this video please do like and comment on this video so it now let's run this application and see so I am uh, writing ng serve so it's the application is up and running now let's see what's happening so we ha this is the quiz application uh, so I have created some CSS I am not adding it in the video also, but you can definitely uh, check the code I will add the github link so this is how it works so every questions we have a timer of 15 seconds and it shows which question number it is the questions and the four option and so I have written the answer in the console so for each correct question the score will be incremented for the wrong ones the score will remain as it is and if you reach the last question the button text will be changed to a finish then afterwards you will get a restart quiz button and once you click on it it will again go back to the previous page